the first working model of the light Russian aircraft Tango is currently undergoing continuous flight tests in 2025, having been developed under the S-7 Group's initiative. The Tango is a four-seat aircraft that was designed and engineered by the Moscow-based company Spectra Aircraft. It is built with a substantial amount of composite materials. The developers predominantly target the general aviation market and private owners while also positioning it as a civil aviation training aircraft. This phase remains distant, despite some exaggerated reports in April 2025 that claimed the Tango had entered serial production. The primary cause of the delay is the ongoing testing and certification of the APD-520 Leader engine, which was developed with the assistance of S-7 Group specifically for this aircraft. The engine is Russian-made. The narrative regarding the engine is particularly interesting. The APD-520 Leiter represents the effort to localize the Belgian UL Power UL520i piston engine, which powered the Tango prototype's maiden flight in late 2024. The selection of this foreign engine after 2022 is somewhat perplexing. However, it seems that there were no suitable Russian alternatives at the time, which prompted the developers to choose an engine that was highly favored by the customer. The localization procedure itself continues to be a subject of discussion. The APD-520, which is equipped with an electronic control system, was deployed on the Tango, according to Russian media, in February 2025. The original Belgian engine specifications, 200 horsepower, 5.2 liters of displacement, and petroleum fuel, are nearly identical to the ones reported. This begs the question of whether the APD-520 is a reverse-engineered copy or a design that is nearly identical with negligible modifications. Additional information from the developers is anticipated. The Tango is capable of accommodating four individuals and has a maximum launch weight of approximately 1.2 tons. It has a maximum range of approximately 1,100 kilometers and is capable of flying at velocities of up to 245 kilometers per hour. According to reports, the aircraft can operate at altitudes of up to 4,000 meters and has takeoff and landing distances of approximately 500 and 600 meters, respectively. Its airframe is primarily constructed from Russian composite materials with only a few imported components, including the propeller. The Tango is well-suited for general aviation use and training environments due to its modern design and non-retractable landing gear. The development timeline anticipates that serial production will commence no earlier than 2027 following ongoing flight testing and certification in 2025 and 2026. The S-7 Group's initiative to localize both the aircraft and its power plant is a component of a broader strategy to decrease reliance on Western aviation technologies, particularly in light of geopolitical developments in the aftermath of 2022. The Tango is designed to address a requirement in the Russian market for a modern, domestically produced training aircraft that complements existing models such as the Yak-152 and UTS-800, which continue to depend on imported engines. The APD-520 engine initiative is of particular importance. It is a six-cylinder, horizontally opposed piston engine that is equipped with electronic fuel injection and management. Its purpose is to replicate the performance characteristics of the Belgian UL Power UL520IS. This engine is capable of producing up to 200 horsepower and has a displacement of 5.2 liters when operated on gasoline. The localization effort is regarded as a crucial stage in the pursuit of technological self-sufficiency in the civil aviation sector of Russia. Nevertheless, the engine is currently in the prototype stage where it is subjected to rigorous testing to guarantee its reliability and adherence to certification standards. The UL Power UL520IS is an aircraft engine manufactured by UL Power Aero Engines, a Belgian company headquartered in Jeluvold near Ypres, Belgium. UL Power specializes in designing and producing modern, air-cooled, direct-drive engines primarily for light aircraft and rotorcraft. Their engines are known for combining advanced technology with reliability and efficiency, making them popular in the experimental and light sport aviation communities. The UL520IS is a 200-horsepower engine that has gained popularity among builders and pilots of experimental and home-built aircraft 
due to its modern fuel injection system, electronic ignition, and smooth operation. It is often used as a replacement or alternative to traditional engines like the Lycoming O320 or O360 series, especially in aircraft where weight, fuel efficiency, and modern engine management are priorities. Several aircraft models are known to use or support the UL520IS engine. These include popular home-built and kit planes such as the Bede BD4, Cozy MK4, and Gloss Air Sportsman. The engine is also installed in experimental conversions of classic aircraft like the Cessna 150. Additionally, it is found in various light sport and ultralight aircraft, including just aircraft models, the Pelegrin Terragon, the Agan Admiral 797 Sharklet, and the Argo Aero AH 3.4. These installations highlight the engine's versatility and appeal across a range of light and experimental aircraft platforms. In general, the S-7 Tango is a significant milestone in Russia's aviation aspirations. It is a promising candidate for both private owners and flight schools due to its domestically supported power plant, modern avionics, and composite construction. The project underscores Russia's dedication to the development of indigenous aviation technologies and the reduction of dependence on foreign suppliers, although serial production is still a few years away. The Tango has the potential to become a fundamental component of Russian general aviation and pilot training programs in the near future if it proves successful. Now, do you think Belgium can take Russia to task if it reverse engineers its engine? Please let us know in the comments. Please like, subscribe, and share our videos. In addition, please take our memberships.